Hi, this is Greg Christian, and this is about scratch cooking on the equipment side. So this is the second video on scratch cooking. And again, if I had my way, I would be in the kitchen with you, working with your equipment and you for you to get to know it. I think everybody needs a tilt skillet or a brazier. I think everyone needs a dishwasher with real plates and real glasses or plastic glasses and real flatware. I think people need a wand, which is a immersion blender. The chef's slang for it is a boat motor. You need a roboku that has a slicing mechanism to it so you can have a little bit of help slicing when you're in a jam. You need a convection oven or two or maybe more depending on your size. A lot of people like steam jacketed kettles. I disagree. But if you like steam jacketed kettles, put one in or keep yours. People have steamers in the kitchen. I disagree with steamers. I take them out where whoever will let me take the steamer out. I never put a steamer in a kitchen. It leads to lazy cooks. It leads to overcooked food in general. And it leads to flavorless food in general. People need sharp knives. They need cutting boards. They need storage for their food. When you go to scratch cooking, you need much more storage. You need plastic, different size plastic, Cambro bins or whatever company you use with lids. You need bus tubs. You need uh, things on wheels to hold flour and sugar if you're baking your own food, you, you know, to hold brown rice. You need... Uh, scales, both scales that go up to 400 pounds, at least one, probably two or three, depending on your operation, and you need ounce scales in your kitchen. People need to know how to use these knives, and they get to, they get to know how to use their knives by using their knives daily. So this is back to my first idea in the last video on production schedules. People need to circle up. All the produce gets washed at once and everybody cuts all the produce together is one idea. Don't have somebody off in the corner doing, you know, pineapple for 500 people alone. You need a heartbeat created in that kitchen and that comes from working as a team. Uh, you have to know how to turn the pilot lights on. People have to keep these ovens clean. You're all really good at that already. Almost all, every kitchen, school kitchen I've been at in, in North America, kitchens are clean. They have to stay that way. A dull knife is a dangerous knife. So you want to, sharp, you want to start with a sharp knife. You want to know how to keep it sharp. And people have to know how to use all this equipment. God forbid we start heading towards scratch cooking local food and somebody gets hurt in your kitchen. So... Be safe with all this equipment.